Hi, my name is Benjamin Nichols. Thank you so much for investing a little bit of your time and getting to know me better. So what do I do? Well, I help hoteliers and restaurateurs like you. I help make your life a little bit easier, your business a little more profitable. I can even help you prepare for franchising. So you may be wondering, you know, why am I out here, out here on the soccer field when I'm talking about hotels and restaurants and marketing? Well, in both, you have to be able to keep score. If you're not keeping score, you're not able to know whether or not you're doing better. And transparency in the work that I do is really important, as it should be with anyone that you hire to do marketing. Okay, so you've probably got a couple of questions, which is why you're watching this video. That's what I'd be doing. I'd be saying, well, tell me a little bit about yourself. You know, do you have any education? Yep, I've got some of that. I've been to a school. I've received my bachelor's of business degree in hospitality operations management. I've been to Cornell. Well, I took their online hotel revenue management certificate and coupled all that together with a marketing diploma. So when I'm looking at your hospitality business, there's things that I'm looking at that are a little bit different. I look at both how things are working operationally, how that impacts and how marketing impacts your business. The two go hand in hand. When you have somebody that can understand both, you're bound to do a lot better. So job, have you ever had one? Yes, I've had plenty of them. So let's start with hotels. I worked for Fairmont. Fairmont was really neat. When I was working at Fairmont, they served people like the Queen of England, for real. They also served heads of state and a lot of celebrities. So I got to see what guest service was really like and how important that is when you're considering your marketing plans, your marketing strategies, and how that impacts the end user. That's important because you want people to come back, right? It's much more expensive to get new guests and new clients than it is to keep the ones that you've got. All right, let's talk about restaurants. What have I done in terms of marketing with restaurants? Well, my first client was really great. I mean, they're all really great. But my first one, I started off doing a marketing audit for them where I identified 40 different points of opportunity for them. And that's a lot to manage. So I turned that into a marketing plan and a brand strategy program for them. When I was working through their marketing plan, they had three different locations and I said, hey, you know what? You're really well positioned to start franchising. So I was able to help them get ready to franchise. I've been able to do that with another client as well. So I've really got a good understanding of what that takes to get your business ready for that sort of growth. In franchising, you know, marketing is about growth. Franchising is a really great way to grow your business. So that's a little bit about what I've done with restaurants. Not to mention some of the, well, I guess there's more. There's always more when you're talking to a marketing guy, right? But the other things that I've been working on is menu engineering. And that's been a real love of my life because it's so easy to implement. It can make such a difference in your business. Yes, menu engineering, love it. It is a passion of mine. It's, it's the way to, to make things creative and very measurable and you know help really boost profits. A lot of restaurants don't do this. This could be your secret weapon. About 90% of restaurants really do zero, really no menu engineering, looking at their menus from a marketing perspective to very little. So it can be a real competitive advantage for you in generating more revenue and profit. I actually did a study for QSR restaurants where I looked at the four top QSR restaurants in the world and studied their digital menus and how they laid them out and what made them work and tied in traditional menu engineering tactics to that. And if you have a QSR business, that's something that I can do for you. It would be a joy. It is so fun. So we were talking about having fun, right? Well, social media can be a lot of fun. Unless, of course, you're getting it wrong, then it's no fun at all. So my social media experience is pretty cool. I ended up working for a company that had the, the support contract for Meta for all of North America, well, 80% of it, that's pretty close. There I learned about ad optimization and pretty much anything that had to do with the Meta platform, dealing with businesses and agencies. So, you know, over that time I was able to help 500 different businesses. That includes other agencies. So, who would you like on your team? The guy who's calling the help or the guy who's providing the help? Help, that's really what you're looking for, isn't it? You're looking for help with your marketing business. So you're also looking to make a good decision. You're looking to score, right? Right on here on the field. It's about keeping score and knowing that you're moving forward. You're moving towards your goals. And one of the best ways to do that is to hire somebody that you're 
that you're paying to produce results, to get the ball in the net. You don't want to pay somebody that you're going to have to teach them about your industry so that they can eventually produce results. I would think that you'd want somebody that knows your industry, that has a passion for it. And when you look at working with me, that's what you're going to get. You're going to get somebody who is passionate about this industry and who is looking at getting the ball in the net and producing measurable results for you. I really would look forward to hearing from you and helping you out on your next marketing project. Thanks so much for watching this video. My name is Benjamin Nichols.